So TerraVision CASA, uh, or COMS Availability Spatial Analysis, the acronym for CASA, uh, is a system that we've developed particularly tailored to the telecommunications market because of such a heavy reliance in society at the moment on mobile network performance. I mean, we've all been through the pains of having to use our mobile phone only to realize that there's not enough signal or the painfully slow internet speeds that we experience from time to time. What CASA does for a myriad of different users is creates transparency across multiple platforms so we can see how effective a mobile coverage uh, for a particular network actually is. So what CASA does, whether you are a small business owner reliant upon your FPOS terminal or your tracking for your fleet, particularly taking things from the port to storage or warehouses, whatever it may be, whatever you place your reliance upon a mobile network coverage for, what CASA does is it analyzes that network coverage and presents it in usable heat maps so we can better understand the limitations of what our network coverage actually is. CASA, as opposed to other offerings in the market, works with real-time actual network data. So the way CASA works upon a uh, specially configured mobile device sends proper blue pipe, which is uh, proprietary uh, data, sends blue pipe packets to a CASA server. Now what happens is that CASA server uh, basically works with uh, algorithms and real-time processing of that data to simulate uh, what is now a topographical uh, heat map that's overlaid over a geographical map. So what CASA does, unlike other providers in the market, is it uses real-time data to produce a real heat map of actual coverage. Now, a lot of other solutions use theoretical data, which is great, but when you're providing uh, modeling and uh, simulation of your network, further enhancements and development based on theoretical data, the issue is that it's not necessarily a true representation of what is actually happening for the end user at their device on the ground. Yes, yeah, so TerraVision, uh, CASA, specifically uses uh, formulated data packets that look at signal strength metrics on a particular mobile device. So with those, uh, those data packets, they're sent to a CASA server uh, that is actually a cloud-based system. So whether or not uh, you're in front of a desktop computer or in the field as a technician using a phone or a tablet, laptop, whatever it may be, using those data packets from sent devices, we're able to run the simulation uh, and overlay the signal strength heat maps on real maps and then have you access them wherever you may be. See, the beauty of CASA is it doesn't matter whether you have five devices or 5,000 devices in the field. It is the same algorithm that processes the data and produces the heat maps in real time. So if you're a technician looking at a telco network trying to understand where the limitations may be or where outages are occurring, we can see those in real time or if you're a customer that's placing a reliance upon that network for whatever it is with your infrastructure or services, you can see how your equipment or your devices should be performing in real time on that network. The Terravision CASA, uh, we're actually very proud about because it is the kind of system that is able to partner alongside critical services in society. So where we have so many services or industries reliant upon effective and wide-reaching mobile network uh, infrastructure and what has to be available signal, things like our emergency services, our, our fire, our ambulance, uh, law enforcement, our police that use radio and cellular network technology as the backbone for everything they do. We're now able to come alongside these companies and paint a picture of what real coverage looks like as the backbone for their service. So no longer is there an illusion of what a network coverage model should look like for a network. We're able to show to the user or the industry professional, whoever is reliant on that network, what the network actually looks like that they are reliant upon. The beauty of the system 
is it will work with any radio network. It will work with Wi-Fi networks, it will work with LTE cellular, it will work with radio. So it's agnostic for the system. So for us, our development and our technology is not really pitched at in any way reaping revenue from our clients or trying to make a major sale. What we're trying to do is create transparency and accountability for network operators and also users of networks to better understand the limitations of what it is they're reliant upon. So really what our development and our, uh, I guess our aim going forward is to better create a level playing field for operators and customers alike to understand how it is their mobile devices should be performing and whether or not their devices actually are. The beauty of the system is it's completely agnostic. It will work on any device. Uh, it will work across all level devices uh, within a, a particular network. So no longer are we reliant on theoretical models to understand what's happening. We're now able to look at real data in real time and know exactly how a network is